Malawi has started investigations into the cause of a plane crash that killed Vice President Solos Chilema and eight others on June 10 in northern Malawi. The investigation by a team of German experts comes after Malawian President Lastro Chakwera said last week that he had asked foreign governments to help probe its cause, despite the investigation launched by the Malawi military. Malawi government spokesperson Moses Kunkuyu said Sunday the experts will look into several areas leading to the crash of the Donia 228 aircraft, including the condition of the plane and circumstances. The military plane was carrying Vice President Saulos Chirima and eight others to the funeral of a former cabinet minister in northern Malawi, crashed on June 10. The plane went missing the previous day. Soon after, it was advised not to land at an airport in northern Malawi because of bad weather. The arrival of the German experts comes after Malawian President Lazarus Chakwera said last week that he was puzzled with what caused the crash of the plane he has long used. Chakwera said he had asked foreign governments to help probe the accident despite investigation being carried out by the Malawian Defense Force. Michael Gayatza is the executive director for the Center for Human Rights and Rehabilitation, one of several organizations in Malawi that asked for the independent investigation into the crash. He welcomes the start of the investigations. However, uh, it's important that the government you know, should not interfere in any way in the investigation. And this should be, you know, totally independent investigation so that the, whatever comes out of it should be credible. The sudden death of Jirima bred a lot of conspiracy theories in Malawi and abroad, with some suggesting it was an assassination plot. Last week, police in Malawi arrested lawmaker Kamlepo Kalua and rights activist Boni Kalindo for circulating messages on social media alleging the plane crash was planned. The two were charged with cyber crimes and were expected to appear in court today, Monday. But Kayata said arresting those expressing their views on the plane crash would prevent some people from giving information to investigators. That's why we have uh, issued a statement that strongly condemning uh, the, the arrest. Because uh, what this arrest would do is to, to get uh, an atmosphere of fear at a time when we need you know, to open up and uh, freely come out uh, to provide information of what they know about the, uh, the accidents. Malawian security expert Sheriff Kaisi said transparency is needed in such investigations to win the confidence of Malawians regarding the investigators. Um, we need to know them, uh, that if they are from Germany, which company are they from Germany? And what are the track record that they have been doing the same uh, similar job, for example, um, investigating uh, such accidents for how long they have done that? And what are the reports that they have? Okuyo said two of the investigators are from the German Federal Bureau of Aircraft Accidents Investigation, while one is from General Atomics a company that has taken over from the manufacturer of Donia 228 aircraft. Lamek Masina, VOA News, Blanta. The African Union Transition Mission in Somalia on Monday said it has handed over the Seal Elgbo military base located in the middle Shabele region to the Somali National Army as the African Union mission steps up withdrawal of its troops from the country. Atme said the latest military base marks the third base transferred in phase three of Atme's troops drawdown. Atme Sector 5 Commander Oskar Hatungimana lauded the corroboration between the two allied forces, residents and international partners in degrading the Al-Shabaab extremist group which has engaged the government in attacks. The strategic Seal Elk Bowl base previously manned 
by Artemis Bulundi troops since 2019 protects the Mogadishu Johal main supply routes and surrounding areas. The designated routes within an area of operations upon which the bulk of traffic flows in support of military operations and humanitarian operations. The third phase of the Artemis drawdown is in line with United Nations Security Council resolutions 2628 of 2022. 2670 2022 and 2710 2023, which mandate ATMIS to withdraw 4,000 troops by the end of June. The drawdown continues as the African Union Peace and Security Council has called for a phased approach to the withdrawal of peacekeepers from Somalia to avoid a potential security vacuum. The African Union Peace and Security Council has strongly backed Somalia's request made in May for a first approach to the phase three drawdown of Artemis to enable Mogadishu to maintain half of the troops that were expected to withdraw by the end of June. The AUPSC notes that the exit of Artemis needs to be carefully harmonized with a follow-on mission that replaces it including the harmonization of troop contribution countries to ensure that there is no security gap between December 31st and January 1st, 2025. AUPSC said in its communique released Saturday. The AUPSC warned the ongoing offensive operations against the Al-Shabaab terror group and the full implementation of the phase three drawdown could lead to capability gaps that may have significant implications for the security of Somalia and the wider region.